Welcome to a Penji.com video, Get Your Debug On. In this video, we're going to recap some important skills and lessons that you've learned and talk about applying what we've learned to the next assignment. So here's a picture of the map for the next assignment. This map is different from all the others. As you can probably tell from just looking at the map, Pam or Penguin will need to take a long, windy, twisty journey to get to the fish at the bottom. So, take a guess, how many lines of code do you think you're going to have to write? Well, it took me 25 lines of code. Now, that's a lot more code than you've had to write for any of the prior assignments. A lot more. And that's why we are considering this a boss map. Since you'll be writing more code than you've ever written before, what's one thing that you should not do? Okay, there's lots of answers to that question. I know there's a lot of things that you shouldn't do, and I, I don't mean things like, hey, I shouldn't cheat off my friend in school. Instead, my question has to do with something that you've seen throughout this unit, which is to write, test, repeat. And that means that you should not wait until after you've written all 25 lines before testing your code out. Here's what the first part of 25 lines worth of code looks like. As you can see, there's lots and lots of places where it would be easy to make a small typo, and you don't want to wait until you've written all 25 lines to try to figure out where that typo is. Instead, remember, write, test, repeat. Write a few lines of code. Test, run that code. If there are any bugs, identify, find, and fix them before moving on. Once your first few lines of code are in good shape, write a few more lines of code. Test and run those lines out. The beauty of this approach is that if you find any errors or bugs, you know that they probably are from the few lines of code that you just wrote. They're probably from these lines. So those few lines that you just wrote is where you can look for any problems in your code. And once they're good, you just repeat the process. Write a few more lines of code. Test run those codes, identify any bugs, because they're probably in the code that you just wrote. So look at this map and think about dividing the assignment up into smaller goals. Maybe your first few lines should be to get the penguin to here. It's up to you to decide some natural points to divide up this map um, and do the right test repeat pattern over and over again. The beauty of doing it this way, as opposed to writing all 25 lines of code and only testing it at the end, which we're saying is very bad, is, is if you've had any problems while you were writing those 25 lines and you didn't test it until the end, you wouldn't know. I mean, you'd have to look anywhere in all those 25 lines to try to find the error. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes, every programmer does. Becoming a good programmer is about getting better at identifying and fixing mistakes or bugs. We call this process debugging. And it's a lot easier to identify and fix bugs when you write code in chunks and test those chunks of code out, rather than writing all of your code at one time before test running the code. Good luck.